My name is Charles von Paul. I'm a Swedish artist working in Paris and in Sweden. So I did my BA in the US and then I did my MA at Goldsmiths College in London. I've been working as a professional artist since 1995. My first relation to art was seeing these uh, enormous pieces by minimalists such as Carl André and Solivit and Eva Hesse. I sort of integrated that sort of memory, I guess, uh, in my practice. I'm very influenced by minimalism, but I think I'm working with minimalism in a different way. I'm always working with handmade pieces, so the handmade is an important element in almost all my work. With the accumulation of lots of many, many parts, but since they're handmade, there's always an imperfection. It's not perfect, even if you try to, with the repetition, to make something perfect. So it's a paradox between the, the perfect and the imperfect. The Schizonauts Museum was founded in 1937. The founder was very interested in trying to find out how do you create a work of art. For me, it's a very, very important museum since I'm interested in the creative process. The exhibition in Lund is a sort of a homage on the history of Schizonauts Museum. The viewer will go straight into a very large note piece. It consists of several hundred drawings uh, with crayon and watercolor. It's sort of an ongoing process. I've been researching in the archives and looking at the collection and finding different parts. My rule was to work all day from eight in the morning until five in the evening. Just write everything by hand, trying to sort of uh, piece together uh, the history of the museum. It will also be a 7,000 Newton piece. The Harlequins, it's a piece from 2011. I wanted to find something with lots of nuances. I have almost 200 parts of that series now. The rule is there's five drawings with the same color combinations. There's one color that's always constant, which is the uh, light blue. And for me, the light blue in the Harlequin series is a bit like a window towards reality. 600 crystals, uh, light piece, is uh, related to the process. I think that in my exhibitions, I show the process. The idea of being able to touch the viewer uh, as close as possible. I'm always trying to build up in the works different levels of interpretation so that any viewer can have, um, I hope, a sort of feeling or a an experience with the work. I mean, it's art, but, uh, you know, on the other side you have life.